Pebble smart watches could be kept alive by an unofficial developer group called Rebel. Pebble's online services will officially die at the end of this month, but some could live on through Rebel, an unofficial group of Pebble users who are trying to keep their watches alive. Rebel initially popped up after Pebble said in 2016 that it would cease operations and be acquired by Fitbit. Now that Fitbit is weeks away from shutting down Pebble's remaining services, Rebel is promoting an unofficial replacement system that's meant to keep the majority of Pebble's internet-connected functions alive. Former Pebble employee Catherine Berry is spearheading the effort, and it's received an endorsement from Pebble founder Eric Mijakovsky. Rebel's plan to save Pebble watches mostly relies on hosting its own servers that recreate the lost functions. Users and app developers will have to redirect their software to Rebel's servers, and Barry assures users that things won't look too different once the servers are switched. Apps can still be installed, notifications will still come through, and watch faces will still work for the most part. There's still the question of how well Rebel will work once it does go live, and Rebel knows for sure that some of the functions will definitely be a bit different. Pebble's timeline, for example, relied on multiple servers that allowed notifications to get pushed to people's watches. The Rebel team will alter those apps wherever possible, but some of them might not be functional immediately after the update. Timeline updates will also become slower, rather than immediate updates, Rebel will update the timeline every 15 minutes.